What's up, sons? It's Blind John with Simon Tech once again, and I am excited to show off my test bench for the Ryzen 7 2000 series slash X470 benchmarks that will be performing live on twitch.tv slash son of a tech underscore and then uploading of course the shorter bits over here on YouTube so you can see all the test results. If you want to say in what we're testing or how we're testing and what methods I use, the best way you're going to be able to interact with me as far as that goes is not in the comment section but over on my live stream on Twitch. The link will be in the description so come on over there. The first stream will actually be tonight at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time and we'll continue until I feel like we have enough information to release at least the first video. So without further ado, let's talk about the test bench. So today I'm going to actually be testing on for the first time ever the cheapest option for the series of chips that has come out that is uh, available. So there is currently no B450 out for you to purchase from retailers at least that I've been able to find and the cheapest board that is available is an X470 that you see right here. It's actually the Gigabyte Aorus edition. It's the gaming edition. It's the little bit of lower end but I bet you it's still going to overclock close to if not exactly the same as the rest of them because that just tends to be what this Ryzen has shown me so far. I could be proven wrong and I hope so but of course maybe not with the cheapest board. This one's going to run you about $139 on Newegg and should be about the equivalent as well on Amazon. I'll put links of course in the description below for you to go check out. Now for the memory we're testing with we're going to be taking a look at the G-Skill uh, Flare X, so the specific AMD memory, it's clocked at 3200 megahertz and I have 16 gigabytes of it. Now I do want to test with some higher speed memory in the future, but this is what I have and it's been super reliable with every Ryzen processor that I've had. So for the initial test, I just felt like it was only fair to go ahead and start with that. Now the hard drive I went with was the Toshiba RD400. Not only is it one of the best gigabyte per dollar NVMe drives currently out as far as overall performance and price, but it also has been one of those things that's proven to work in all of the Ryzen motherboards that I've used. And believe it or not, there's quite a few drives that actually won't even post with AMD Ryzen motherboards, especially upon initial release. A couple examples, of course, is going to be, or an example, the last one that I had was on the 2400G when I put it in and boot it up with the a data drive that we had it didn't even see it and i couldn't even install an operating system on it so to get up and running and testing as fast as possible i have the rd400 right here links once again will be in the description now finally we have the ryzen 7 2700 we did not go with the x because i feel like that's already being tested a whole bunch the 2600s are being tested a little bit more as well 2700 just seems to be kind of at a loss i felt like it was a really good place to start now for the gpu i went ahead and tweeted out a poll that you can see on twitter and listed some uh, options for which gpu we would test with initially and overwhelmingly it was the gtx 1080 ti I'm pretty certain people want to see how that single thread performance is in games and see if they got some performance improvements over the previous generation Ryzen. And I'm going to oblige and do the initial test with the 1080 Ti. It's the For the Win 3 edition by EVGA. Links once again will be in the description. And then powering it all, so you guys know we have good clean power here, is the EVGA 750 watt fully modular power supply. It's a workhorse and it gets the job done. So definitely check that one out. Once again, if you guys are interested in this particular setup and the testing that's going on and want to say in it, be sure to follow me at twitch.tv slash underscore and I'll see you next Tuesday.